Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. You like to do? I was popular back in the 1980s, boy. That poodle do, you know? Remember? <laughs> if you're my age, you remember. Used to be able to just go like this and spray Aquanet in it and be good. And go out. <laughs> Sorry guys. I am in a silly mood today. Um, and we'll talk about it at the live at, at 3 o'clock, but um, make it make sense, spirit. <laughs> you know, just make it make sense. I'm not drinking the Kool-Aid. All right, so Pisces, let's see what... We got going on for you. Like I said, make it make sense, spirit. I don't know if you're single. I don't know if you're married because of the queen of pentacles here. But there's definitely love. All you need is love. Yeah, as long as they make it make sense and it's not creepy. All you need is love. Sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm just feeling. I'm feeling some creepiness here. Virgo energy. So, Pisces. Um, we got to talk. Like I said, you need to come to the live at 3 o'clock. If you're, if you're not uh, interested, that's cool. Uh, remember to take what resonates. Don't manifest the rest. And if you'd like a personal reading, please look at the information in the box below. King of Cups is what's crossing you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <laughs> Ooh, Pisces. The Queen of Swords, that is hard. Like I said, make it make sense because this don't make no sense, okay? Perhaps this person who's approaching you in some way, shape, or form has disappointed you before, or there is competition for your cup for your love and there's a choice here whether to bring something back from the dead or to move forward because I do feel like whoever this king of cups is they make it an offer Pisces but make it make sense you know the most recent pass is the nine of wands you finding out the truth and queen of swords in that ass. Standing in your truth. Doing your homework. But not being bothered by... Uh, the, Really, not being bothered by the truth. It's, it's because it's, it's the queen of swords and the ace of swords. You're not even bothered. You're like... Um, I'm tending to my God in here and uh, doing the things I got to do. And you just cross the line. You just cross the line of my integrity. You cross the line. So somebody got bit here. Somebody got stung. Even though you're a Pisces, maybe you're a jellyfish. <laughs> I feel like you might be a jellyfish right now, Pisces, going, oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I want to love you. I want to be with you. You're moving on, Pisces. You ate a cup, so that ass. Whatever this was, is, did, has, was, you ate a cup, did, and you said, you know, I'm going, I'm going over here. I got, oh, maybe you're having some financial difficulties right now, but, and, and, and I do feel like whoever this person is, maybe they're well off, maybe they're in a, in, in a power position, but I feel like the, the misuse of power, the misuse of something here could be a cancer, somebody who's misusing their power. And, and, and that, that creeps you out. So it could be King of Pentacles. Got Cancer energy. Got Devil energy. 
got relationship energy. Whoever this person is, they, they approaching you the way wrong way. Way wrong way. They think they smart, Pisces. They not smart. You're not smart. Queen of Swords is smart. And she just prefer you hang in the back with the rest and feed her a bunch of bull crap. <laughs> I will walk away. Watch me. <laughs> I want love and I want money. But I don't want it that bad. I mean, <laughs> Pisces, I do feel like maybe you are having some financial struggles. Maybe trying to save some money. Trying to look for money. Trying to find money. Sitting in your meditative power. I do feel like the Knight of Cups is you, Pisces. I feel like you're, you're trying to put down some things in order to pick up some new things. And have a brand new beginning. You're willing to fight for it, Pisces. Whatever this is. You're willing to fight for your stability. Like I said, you may be saving money to do other things, to take care of other things. We have the world card here as the outside influence. So I do feel like it's the whole wide world, Pisces. Trying to juggle things so you can be stable by yourself, regardless of who else is in your life. Bringing something back from the dead, so to speak, with the Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the Death card. You are trying to bring back something to get yourself right financially. Without having to be codependent in any kind of relationship, regardless of what that is. Because I do feel like somebody's in love with you, Pisces. Eight of Swords is the hopes and fears. And you scared of them. You scared they're a lying, cheating thief. They very might well be Pisces. So, this Emperor is offering you the Page of Cups here. They want to grow something with you. And they're pretending to be a, a king of pentacles. They're not really. They probably filed for bankruptcy. They're not really, Pisces. Cold hard truth is maybe you just need to let go of this page. Because, and, and, and I do feel, I feel like you're the one dishing this out, Pisces. Somebody's trying awfully hard to bring something back from the dead here. Because you're their wish. You're their ultimate wish. And Pisces, you queen of swords and an eight of cups in that ass. Sorry, but this wasn't what I was trying to manifest. I'm trying to manifest a new beginning in finances. And because you waited, Pisces. The sun will come out tomorrow. Okay. Keep working, Pisces. Keep working. You're working towards this Ace of, Ace of Pentacles. You're making stuff happen in your material realm. Despite maybe being disappointed in the love department. Because like I said, you know, it's a, you Eight of Cups and a Queen of Swords and somebody here. Because it wasn't what you wanted. It wasn't what you were trying to manifest. In fact, it was creepy and it was weird, so you decided to bring back yourself into, back into your stable self so you can make the right decisions for yourself, especially where money and work is concerned. All right, so the Two of Cups, what have we got for the Two of Cups here, Spirit? Give me some answers. Who the hell is this Two of Cups? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. <laughs> Pisces, you shot him down. 
and because you shot them down. I mean, this this person this person came at you with some kind of bullshit. All right, five of swords. They came at you with some kind of crazy pie in the sky, seven of cups, trying to win at all cost. And you said, nope, sorry. I want it and I need it, but I don't need it and want it that bad. Especially five of swords, three of swords. No, thank you very much. Who is this king of cups, spirit? Who is this king of cups? Eh, too many. They want to talk a lot on this King of Cups. Alright? And this Queen of Pentacles stuck a fork in it. Okay? There is something definitely that's over here. Seven of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups. This could have even been somebody who was... Who's been kind of following you around, Pisces. Seven of Swords, Five of Cups, and they're they're very disappointed and grieving because you pulled out your soul to justice and you said, I'm balanced, bitch. I don't need your help. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about, Pisces, but I do feel like that's what you said to this person. It's like, oh, hoo, hoo, oh, hoo. I didn't even see that under there. Look at this. Look. The devil came to tempt you, Pisces, and you shot him down. No longer falling for the same old tricks and not drinking the Kool-Aid. Okay? Sorry, Jim. It ain't gonna work this time. This person is very, very disappointed that it didn't work. Because they wanted to control you, Pisces. They're very disappointed it didn't work. <laughs> Pisces got a third eye, man. You bring, that's the way, wrong way to approach a Pisces. And sorry, Charlie, not today. Not any other day. This ain't it. This ain't the Two of Cups. This is a Three of Swords, Five of Swords, the Devil, Seven of Swords, and the Five of Cups. <laughs> That's why Pisces go, I'm going to go over here. <laughs> Bye. What did you do? I don't think you did this. I think somebody else came at you like this, Pisces, and you're just like, whoa. So, we got the sun and judgment here with the two of swords on the eight of cups and the six of swords. It's like, I don't know where I'm going, but I sure know where I've been kind of energy. And I'm going to bring my son back to life, which is sunshine, which is, I'm bringing my sunshine back. I might not see where it's going right now in the immediate future, but I know what I want. And I'm not going to settle for less than what I want, which is the sun. Your judgment call here means everything, Pisces, about manifesting your future energy. And you're taking a risk on, on you. Taking a risk. Even though you might be juggling financially right now, it's like... You didn't fall for some kind of trick here. Somebody was pretending to be something they wasn't. They were actually the devil energy and the emperor, which is very controlling, wanting to make you do something that wasn't of your highest good. And you turned the tables. You said, no, I'll take a risk on me. Thanks. Thanks, no thanks. 
um, you saw this for what it was. Like I said, whoever this person is, they came in the wrong way, wrong way. Sagittarius, Leo, energy. Capricorn, they came in the way, whoop, way wrong way. Approached you in a in a way that was not of your highest good, and you saw it. You saw that shit. And and when you did, you were like, I'm out. Clean of souls, block, eight of cups, bye. I don't think you're even bothered by it because you know exactly what this person was trying to. They were trying to win at all costs, Pisces. Trying to control your vibe, trying to control your situation, lying about who they were, and they didn't get away with it. So even though you don't see where you're going at this point in time, I do feel like it's better than what this offer was. It's better than whatever this person was offering. Because, um, yeah. Swing and the world card. All right, so Knight of Cups, the Queen of Wands, is like this is factors affecting the situation. So Knight of Knight of Cups, Queen of Wands. So this Knight of Cups is in love with this Queen of Wands, and took a risk in coming forward. You absolutely did because of the passion, because of the world situation. This person may have tried before Pisces, but they gave it another shot. Even though they might have lied about who they was or what they was doing. Because, I, I mean, look, guys. Look. This King of Cups approached you with the Two of Cups offer. Okay? And they devil the Seven of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Swords. McFly, you don't come in this way. Especially to somebody with the third eye and a, and, and, and a sense of what's right and what's not. And what they do want and what they don't want. They damn sure don't want no liar that wants to win at all costs here. So, you are very justified in turning this person down, Pisces. Very justified. They were coming from this place... And trying to feed you some kind of illusion to trick you away from yourself. To control your energy. To get a hold of the Queen of Wands energy and try to control it. Very, very risky, whoever you are. You might want to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Because the Empress is not going to stand for that. Not even for a minute. The Nine of Swords and the Hermit. So you you just hiding, Pisces. You hiding from the world. You hiding from these manipulative energies. The devil trying to catch you in his net. And like I said, you may be struggling financially. There's a lot of worry here. And losing sleep. So... There is somebody else that you want, Pisces. Your intuition is telling, and I'm, I'm going to tell you, trust your intuition. It is spot on, Pisces. Whatever, and you know, we, we have a habit of, as Pisces, making up illusions that aren't true. Uh, as far as like what we're trying to manifest. Uh, and and we we do it from a place of solitude, and I do feel like that's what you're doing right now, Pisces. You're manifesting from a place of solitude. Was this what you manifested? Well, maybe accidentally. You know, it, maybe maybe it was an accident, and you didn't mean to manifest this, and but you saw it for what it was, so you didn't fall for the trick. You're 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 getting sharper on your intuition. You're not settling for scraps, which is what I think this person was offering. Because maybe they're in a bad way, too. And they think that you can fic them. Nope, not going to fic nobody no more. Empress going to sit here as long as she got to sit here and pay attention to what her, her own healing and pay attention to her own life and do her homework. 
of manifesting her highest outcome. While she has stalker energy, and I do feel like this person was has and was a stalker. They might still be a stalker. This is weird, creepy energy. So this person came in the way wrong way, tried to approach you. Because they've been watching you, Pisces. <laughs> watching you heal. Watching you get into your Empress energy. <clears throat> I think it was a, a couple of videos ago where I did Magic by the Full Moon. This person was definitely trying to manifest you into their life. But the way they came in creeped you out. Perhaps they wanted to be generous to you. They, they, maybe they thought with the Six of Pentacles they could control you if they gave you money, if they, if they, if they treated you like, you know. You're their Ten of Cups, Pisces. Whoever this person is, and they're still holding on. They want to marry you if they ain't married to you already. Whoever this person is, could be a Virgo, Gemini, Russian in. Pisces don't want you. Pisces is going to do things on their own. And I think you gave this person tower. You said, nope, I'll just juggle my pentacles over here. I'll do what I need to do. Spirit, thank you, but no thank you. I, you know, push that out the way. Because this person rushed in very recklessly and did something stupid. All right. Because they thought they was a magician. They thought they was. They wanted to give you the Ten of Cups, Pisces. But they hurting. They selfish. They, they wasn't coming with an un, unconditional love here. They was coming with very, very selfish and deceptive energy. They weren't going to give you what you wanted. They just wanted to control your vibe, your energy. They thought they could. And I don't care what dimension you're from. You ain't controlling shit. Pisces is a skate artist. Pisces is the, the ultimate rebel. All right. And all this got somebody was a big fat middle finger and have a nice day. I'm out. Have a nice day. Bye. Ain't nobody got time for that dumb shit. <laughs> bada bada swing seven of wands now this person be stuck holding it in their hand <laughs> could be Virgo just saying this person thinks they know everything about everything they just got a wake up call Pisces like, yeah, I might be stuck, but you scare me with that big old wand, the big old shtick. And I, that goes from male or female. Big shtick just means that, you know, it's very, very passionate. It's coming in going, ta-da! And this person came out of the shadows. Ooh, 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 Pisces. No wonder you freaked out. This person was hiding in the shadows. They know, and there's that King of Cups. They know there's competition for you. They know there's, and, and this could be a, a, a female. It doesn't have to be a male. Okay, it's just somebody in their masculine energy. Coming towards the Queen of Cups with the way wrong energy. Five of Wands. Um... You know, uh, Gemini energy here with the lovers. They think that this person tried to win at all costs, Pisces. So they were going to feed you illusions. And may, e may have even caused you pain. I'm glad you told this person no. Because they, they want to grow something with you, but, they don't, but they're going to feed you an illusion. 
Ew. All right, what is this sun and this hermit as the final outcome? We've had the sun pop up, pop up here twice, and in your immediate future, even though you don't may not see it because you're in the middle of walking away from this creep, um, the sun's coming out because of the judgment that you just made. You didn't get tricked. You didn't get tricked by the devil. You didn't allow the de the devil to have control of you, and for that. I do feel like you're going to be rewarded, Pisces. And there's that Two of Cups that you don't see coming. It's on its way. It may take a little minute because with the Knight of Pentacles here, that takes a little bit of time. Time's an illusion. Time don't mean nothing here. Okay? So, you're holding out. You're going to hold out. Even if you can't see where it's going with the with the moon card, you're going to hold out for something that is your sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Look. Final outcome. I will hide. I will do what's right for me that makes me happy. Even if I don't know where it's going. Even if I can't see it through the, the illusion of the moon. I know what I want. I know what heals my soul, and it ain't this devil. This person's watching everything you're doing, Pisces. I don't know how they're doing it, but they're watching. It's creepy. Ooh, here it comes, Pisces, because you waited. You held out. You held out, Pisces, for what you truly, truly wanted. And there it is. A belief system, a contract, something that is better for you than this muck muck. I do feel like this other person is still holding on, Pisces, even if you've even if you cut a bitch. This person's still holding on to the idea of you two together. Cause you just star. Ah. King of Wands, Six of Swords. Yeah, Queen of Swords. <laughs> you definitely Queen of Swords that ass. You want what you want, Pisces. And you're going to bat about a swing, anything else. And you walk away. You'd be like, uh, yeah, no. Uh, we're not doing this five of swords, three of swords things. I'm not getting myself involved in this kind of a situation ever again. Okay? You've learned from past mistakes. This person can call your lawyer at 1-800. Okay? And... You're going to go about your merry way. And and like I said, because you said no thank you, uh, something else is coming towards you that is much more your speed. This person could have been under the guise of someone else in an email. Perhaps they were pretending to be somebody else in an email. Trying to make you believe something that just wasn't true so they could try to control you and I, I don't know why I'm getting an email there and stop your progress here I do feel like there's outside influences here that are stopping your progress that are messing with your money messing with your uh, energy on the outside because they see you as very fortunate to a community of people. Okay? So they came in to offer you a gift. But the gift was bullshit, Pisces. They did it to try to stop you from whatever you're trying to do in your life. Whatever you're trying to grow in your life. This is a demon, Pisces. 
This is a demon. And they are trying to win you at all costs. This is not a game, people. All right? You want what Pisces got. You're going to have to come in in a whole different way than this. And Pisces can't give you their intuition. Nor can you take it. So, time to pull the mask off, whoever you are. And if you're going to step up, step up right. None of the sneaking around and, and, and doing shady shit. Lying, cheating, stealing. I feel like whoever this person is, they may have had money at one time. And maybe they don't anymore. So they saw you as a new meal ticket, Pisces? And you, Queen of Swords, and Eight of Cups, that ass. You stuck to what's true for you. They tried to break your walls. They didn't figure you as as tough as you are. And like I said, you might need money. You might want love. But you don't want it that bad. Not five of cups, five of swords, three of swords, seven of swords, and devil energy. Absolutely not. No, no, no. Like I said, I do see it coming, Pisces, in the future. My readings usually don't go out no more than... No more than uh, three months. A boat. A boat again. Receiving what you need. So you, because you passed this test, Pisces, whatever it was, it was definitely a test from the devil. You passed. Maybe somebody asked you out on a date and you're just like, you know, <laughs> you came in this way, so no. You will, you will be getting what you need, though, Pisces. You are trying to date and get back out there. Maybe you're on a dating site. Maybe this person found you on a dating site. Oh, they found you on a dating site and then approached you in a very, very creepy way. All right, whatever. Next. <laughs> oh, yeah. And there is a snake here. There is a third party here who is trying to get in your energy as well so i feel like this person if they were like married to another person or with another person maybe this person took them to the cleaners and now it's not just them but it's the person that they were with that is also following you around and trying to um trying to hit your confidence pisces Self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. So these people are jealous because you, you still going. You still going. Even no matter what the tricks here were, no matter what they tried to do here, you went bad about a swing, devil. I ain't playing with you. And there's your reward, Pisces. Heart with the key. Welcoming love and meeting the one as the final outcome. So you passed the test, Pisces. Whatever test that was, you passed. Hope, patience, and passion ignited. Woohoo! One one seven, baby. So maybe this person lit a fire under your butt. Because of the way that they approached you, Pisces. I do feel like whatever they did here, it did light a fire under your butt. And it made you realize some things. That there's still hope. No matter, no matter what this person tried to do, because I do feel like they've been trying to sabotage you for quite some time now. Maybe behind the scenes, maybe talking about you, maybe spreading rumors about you. Telling all kinds of other people that you're this and you're that. You're a karmic 
energy <coughs> and blah blah and and you know so whatever they did here though Pisces they just fueled your fire they just made you think twice and now you're being very patient and waiting on whatever it is that you're hoping for this did not come the way you expected it was a tower and you gave them one back you said no nah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna turn the tables here and and you get the tower not me empress don't play she ain't playing with you i'm waiting on the sun and you ain't it God says, good job. Even if you don't see where you're going, that's the sun. God said, good job. Good job for, for figuring this out before you got yourself involved with somebody who's very, very karmic. Somebody who's very, I don't even know. I don't want to know. Like I said, this is like a devil temptation here coming in. And they, they might be talking about you. They might be spreading rumors about you. And, and and lying. Lying about who they are. Like I said, maybe they're pretending to be somebody else. And they're not who they say they are. Alright, so let's go through each sign. And see what they got to say. Aries. I know we have a soul connection. Oh, you so wish. Sorry. Aries, uh, no offense. Taurus. Taurus. Thank you for leaving me. Oh, you're welcome. Stubborn ass. Gemini. I scared myself that day. You scared me too. Cancer. Do you have cancer here? <laughs> I lied to you and I saw it coming from a mile away. <laughs> Leo. Leo. I need to focus on my healing. Absolutely. Virgo. Yes, it's too late. Bye. Libra. Libra. I think that's a reversal on you. I think this is reverse. I think you saying this to Virgo, it's too late. You already, he already screwed up. Now I can't trust you. I was careless with you. Libra. Yeah, no thanks. Scorpio. Scorpio. What do you got to say to my Pisces? Scorpio. You did not break me. King of Cups energy. Um, Sagittarius. What did you want from me? Not a thing. Capricorn. Capricorn. I feel like whoever this person is, they definitely have some Capricorn in their chart. I pretend that I don't care. Yeah, I know. Aquarius. Aquarius. You didn't imagine it. What didn't I imagine? I imagine a lot of things. I'm a Pisces. And Pisces. I do wish you well. As do I. <laughs> I 
fantasize about you. Pisces, you got some kind of fantasy going on here. I know you do. I know you do. It's some kind of fantasy. And and maybe that maybe this person pretended to be that fantasy and they're not that fantasy and you saw right through them. But I do feel like you're fantasizing about somebody. I don't know who it is. But I do feel like there's some kind of fantasy you got going on about someone else. Communication, praise the ice queen, and dishonesty. So the word lord and the ice queen. Damn, the queen of swords and the hermit. <laughs> Guys, you ain't playing with nobody. Absolutely nobody. You are not taking shit from nobody. You ain't playing. You don't want to be played. You just assume be by yourself. Like I said, remember, these cards are genderless. So, it's just energy, guys. Masculine, feminine energy. And I will read you this card. Alright, this says, The word Lord rules communication of all kinds and lets you know that positive interactions can be expected when he arrives as your ally. He only speaks with positive words and praises all he sees. He reminds you of the laws of abundance and praise. When you bless the world, it blesses you back. When you say affirming, supportive words, they carry an energy that returns to you in physical form. Remember that each one has the power and will resonate into the universe, seeking its reflection in manifest form. Your body responds to praise, as does everything in the world around you. Praise it for its inherent health and hey, yeah, that health and beauty. Applaud yourself for everything you do, as even the tiniest accomplishments are important. Praise your bills. Give them thanks for the services you enjoy and watch your ability to pay them increase as you align with spirits increasing power. This is all to also time to remember the powerful practice of affirmations. Write them down and speak them aloud as a spiritual exercise. Say it is so and it will be. It's a very auspicious sign when the word Lord chooses to be your ally. So this wasn't it, Pisces. This wasn't it. Okay? But what can be? Speak it into, speak it into the, the ethers. Speak it into the ethers and say it is. And it will be so. Affirmations are going to be very, very important for you over the course of the next three months. And, you know, these, these, these challenges that are coming your way are meant to trip you up, Pisces, and I don't think you're allowing them to. It's like, you know, uh, I, I want it, I, you know, I may need some money, I may, need, I, I, I may like to have a relationship, but I'm willing to wait for what's right for me, which is not this energy here. It's not this creepy stuff. It is not enough to keep you around. This person is trying to seduce you with the... Uh, worldly type energy because you're healing Pisces you're you're healing that that empress within so you can attract to you this star which is what you truly want and like I said maybe this person was kind of sent from another universe to trip you up, try to get you stuck because of the Eight of Swords over there. And you said no. You said, you know, I got things to do and I'm good, thanks. Like I said, I don't think you, you know, you probably weren't nasty to this person or anything, but I feel like maybe they were trying to win at all costs and they would tell you anything that you that they thought, now like I said, this could be an old, old lonely person who uses this line on a lot of people. And I'm just saying older lonely person. You'll find out about that later if you come to the live. And 
maybe they're just really lonely and they use this on other people and it worked for them in other circumstances but it didn't work on you Pisces you decided to keep going and that is bringing you your true desire which is the final outcome here and I do feel like that's going to happen over the next three months Pisces and, and it, it, it might not be love it might be just happiness yeah, this, this is putting your ideas on ice, baby. So, ice, ice, baby. <laughs> the ice queen has come to block your movement for your highest good. Yeah, because she sees that this is bullshit. This is the queen of swords. Let your ideas be pre preserved until later. You can thaw them out and use them at another time when they will be best served. The realm of the ice queen is a place of non-action. And now is the perfect time to look at how far you've come and ask yourself for the reclarification of your higher goals. Not all your plans can be accomplished at this moment. In fact, putting them on ice allows for the perfect timing later on. Don't be too hasty in trying to reach your goal. An even better one will present itself if you surrender and spend time or spend the winter with the ice queen. Perhaps too, you're trying to do too many things at once. This is a good occasion to choose only one thing to focus on and let the Ice Queen put the others in a deep freeze until a more appropriate time. She'll let you know when it's time to let them thaw. But right now, you cutting a bitch and you, you queen of swords and everybody's ass because you waiting for what's of your highest good and you walking away from anything that don't serve you anymore, Pisces, and that's a good job. It's all devil energy. It's not time yet. Wait until the right time. Whatever your idea is here. Do your homework. Heal. And time is an illusion. So do what's right for you, Pisces. Because this person came in to try to trick you. And you didn't fall for it. Congratulations. The devil tried to tempt you and you said, nope, you can keep that apple. Standing in your integrity, Pisces. Standing in your truth, your justice, and your American way. And nobody can fool you anymore. Although that may get boring at times, it's safer than putting yourself in a position that might get you stuck later. Okay? All right, guys. I love you, and I will see you at 3 o'clock for the live stream. Be there, be square, be round, be whatever you want to be. But come on over and hang out with me. Take care. Bye for now.